Safe transport of electric cars is a topic high on Stenaline agenda. Numbers on board are increasing day by day. In March 22, we went to Juvelanios Maritime Training Center in the north of Spain. Juvelanios Center belongs to Sassemar, one of the partners of the Lash Fire project. Lash Fire investigates possibilities to improve fire safety for ferries and rover ships. A number of project members from DFDS, Stena, Fire Research of Norway and RICE participated to perform full-scale fire tests on electric cars with lithium-ion batteries. Three different tests were conducted. The first test was a free burn test where a car was allowed to burn without taking any measures to fight the fire. Aim was to experience the behavior of your lithium-ion battery fire in a car and obtain data like heat release rate or toxic gas emissions. In the second test, we looked at different equipment and methods to fight the fire to use as early stage first response, as well as methods for fully developed fire stage. In the last test, we placed a car in a closed space simulating a closed rear deck. For the firefighters, this is more challenging due to the lack of visibility by smoke. We explored techniques and equipment to deal with those types of conditions. The first is called the free burn test. Uh, so basically the idea is to let it burn to get important data for us. For example, the emission of, to of toxic gases and the heat release rate. In this test, we are not doing any intervention, firefighting intervention. We are putting a burner beneath this car, which is an electric car, uh, to see how it burns and how the battery catches fire and uh, it starts to decompose and generates more heat. So this loop uh, creates a, a state of uncontrolled self-heating, which is called a, th a thermal runaway. That is what we want to observe in this test. So we, we have uh, set up some instruments uh, in the car, for example, on top of the battery packs, below the batteries, uh, in the hood, in the trunk just to see when the fire is uh, progressing or is spreading to different parts of the vehicle. And uh, that tells us how the battery burns and uh, what we can uh, expect from an electric car fire. From these tests, we are going to collect some data to understand how these fire uh, pose challenges uh, for uh, firefighting operations and uh, how we can learn from this uh, for the design of detection systems, uh, for fire suppression systems, or if we have uh, first responders going to the scene. What we tested now was the first response test. As you can see, this is the way it, it looks on most Roro ships. That you have a lot of vehicles and still you have to fight the fire somehow. We test the handheld fire extinguishers that you find on, on all ships today and they are used early in the fire to extinguish it while it's small.
and we have tested the different means of tools with suppression by water. We have definitely learned that the depression with water has been very efficient, I must say. And we also tested a, a fire blanket that was pulled on top of these eight vehicles. Uh, we have uh, a square with nine cars and, and uh, the electric car in the middle. And uh, it was quite easy to put it over, and it's working well. We're working well. It's easier to work with also, put on the fire and see the temperatures going down. It was really good, good to see. The temperature on the yeah. car uh, drops very fast. In seven minutes it drops from 500 degrees to 350. It was really good, good to see how, how effective this was. We haven't fully evaluated this, but everything's worked well and all these first responses uh, have had a very positive uh, effect. And finally, the last test is going to be indoor and it's going to be very challenging uh, due to the smoke production and the lack of visibilities. The indoor test will uh, resemble the conditions on uh, our Cardex. We will make an attempt with uh, various dimensions of uh, hoses and also uh, a fog nail. So it will be more challenging for uh, the team, but I think they are quite confident from the first couple of tests outside. And working with uh, four, uh, when, uh, 24 houses was really good. I would think it's working very well and it was easier to come around with it. It was, uh, it was not so hard, it's a 45 mm hose and, and not so heavy. So uh, for coming around the car and, uh, and even uh, move the, the fog fighters in uh, directions was easier. We don't have to drag it so hard, so we have much energy last. So it was a very good success. We used the fog nail in combination with the fog fighter. And, and uh, it was um, easy to use and, and uh, have, um, work very well. We can put it under the car and in the car uh, and uh, they can work itself. And also put it in the hood so you can cool down the engine and then the engines are compartment because you can't you cannot come in inside with the fog nail, like with the fog fighter. But the fog nail is working really good to put put it in the front of the car and you don't let them in the engine room to cool down and put out the fire. So, so um, this is a good um, a good combination with the fog fight. Firefighters are exposed to the smoke and gases from the fire and therefore the fire suits uh, could be contaminated. And it is important to uh, take care of them in, in a proper way after a completed mission. The 
guys in the fire team, they will uh, be supported when they undress and we will put the fire suits for uh, washing. So now we have concluded the tests. As we know, battery fires are hard to initiate and predict, but we think we managed to create representative cases for the purpose. It is really good to see our crew members getting hands-on with those fires. Very few get this chance in reality. I think we got a lot of useful experience for our coming work on alternative fuel vehicle firefighting tactics. I can see that the electric car and this um, fossil driven cars burn approximately the same uh, intensity what we can see and the tanks of this fossil driven cars was empty so we think about that if we have full tanks of the, um, the fossil driven engines we have more intensity in, in the fire because the fuel is running, uh, running out uh, the deck and everything like that we have definitely learned that the dangers we have uh, seen before or expected is not that uh, high anymore. We have uh, taken away some of the fears including the surrounding the, the EVs. And uh, we will continue during the year to do more tests to, to have uh, new uh, experience and reflections later on. We sail with a lot of electric cars and we have also electric cars of course on our passenger vessels. And we want to train our crew and take good care of all our passengers when they sail with us. Crew members are trained on firefighting, but they are not professional firefighters. Following the results of the tests, we will develop guidelines and specific training to ensure safety of crew firefighters, best tactics and use of the tested equipment.